There's a little popster. You ready to try out some gear? <laughs> it's the same color as you, buddy. Mm. Don't sound good. So lately I've been recording 60 second mini songs. The goal is to get better at music production. What I do is each mini song I concentrate on one aspect, one detail. And today I'm going to concentrate on guitar tones and I'm going to record everything using this guy. It's the Joyo AC Tone. It's an all-in-one vintage tube amp simulator and a pedal. From what I can tell, it's a clone of the Tech 21 Liverpool amp emulator. And they're both essentially emulating the Vox AC series of amplifiers. So what this means is that instead of lugging around a 70 pound amplifier, miking it with a microphone, plugging it into a preamp, the only thing you do is you plug your guitar in there, you plug that in directly in your sound interface and you're done. The advantage of doing that is since it's analog, there's zero latency, it's direct. There's six controls on the pedal, the low, mid, high, drive and level do pretty much what you would expect in any amp simulation. The wild card here is the voice knob. I'm going to demonstrate what this one does with three examples. From my understanding, below 12 o'clock you get the vintage jangle of early 60s Vox amplifiers. Think early Beatles. Here's an example using my Gretsch. At around 12 o'clock, you get that top boost Vox sound, very bell-like and bright. Here's an example using my Fender Bass 6. Above 12 o'clock, you start to get thick harmonic distortion, very reminiscent of 1970s Queen. You could use it for chunky written guitars or like soaring solos, it's really good. And here's an example using my Epiphone Sheraton. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a wide array of tonal possibilities just with this one pedal. Now I'm going to show you the 60 second mini song I created using only this for the guitars. And after that, I'm going to tell you my final thoughts. Waiting outside my door that
recording with the Joyo Acetone was an absolute delight. I know there's a zillion types of amp simulations out there and some of them have like so many more options and possibilities, but when there's too many possibilities, I tend to get overwhelmed and it sort of stifles my creativity. And there's something to be said about molding your tone before you press the record button. It really streamlines the production process and mixing was an absolute cake. Was a cake or it was cake? Mixing was easy. I feel like for $50, you can't go wrong with this. If you like music vlogs, please subscribe. We're gonna do a lot more. Thanks for listening. And puppies gonna be bad because it's so cute. I'm very tired today.